Hello everyone, welcome to ILA Digital Class. My name is Steven. I want to use this um, opportunity, this medium to um, appreciate those that already subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm so, so grateful. So, a few weeks ago, I started a tutorial on this channel. We are building an application that I called Student Result Management System. Student Result Management System. So that is the name of the application we are trying to build on this um, channel. Now, I've released several videos concerning this tutorial, um, starting from part 1 to part 3 to part 4, even down to part 8. So this is the part 9 of the video. Yeah, this is the part 9 of the video. So if you've not yet seen the previous ones, please kindly go and, and watch the previous ones. And also, I'm going to drop the link um, for the previous video in the description. And another thing again is that please, if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. Just click this subscribe button. And I and, and I strongly believe that you are learning one or two things from this channel. So just please just subscribe and don't forget to um, click on the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video, you're going to be notified. So um the last time uh, 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 the last video I released is how you can delete a student name from database this is it that is if you input a student name and if that name matches the name in your database once you click the delete button it's going to be deleted from your database this is our database here so but one thing we want to do today is that without wasting time one thing we want to do today is that we want to make use of the suite alert that is um, the suite alert is a plugin. Are you guess what I'm saying now? It's a plugin, it's a custom um, alert function in JavaScript. So it's a plugin. So that's what we're gonna be making use of today. And how does it work is that we wanna make sure that if we click this delete button, we want there should be a pop-up confirming if the user really wants to delete that student name. The same thing we wanna do for this delete or two. So that same thing we wanna do for this. Um, let me come down here for this save button. That is, if this save button is click, we don't just want to be getting the response in our console. I guess what I'm saying now, the same thing with this edit too. So once this edit button is clicked, we just, just want to be getting a response there. But one there should be a pop-up saying that our data has been saved, saying that our data has been successfully um, retrieved. Did you understand it now? And for us to do that, let's go into uh, let's go to Sweet Alert um, website. This is sweetalert2.github.io. Just type that URL in your browser and you're going to be uh find this here. We have a lot of examples here, a lot of examples here. Let me show us. Let me come up start from this place. Wait, let me just click try me here. You see, it's got it's just like a pop-up confirming um if we want to do anything. So you see this one too. So we have a lot of examples, but the one we want to be making use of today is uh I want to make use of this confirmation here. Let's let me see this this one. Asking, are you sure you want to delete? We want to make use of this today. So, but before we do that, let's go to usage now. Let's see how we can make use of this with a lot. So for us to be able to do that. Now we have to uh, install this plugin. You listen now. We have to install it using npm install. And how are we going to achieve that? Now, before you can be able to use npm, you must have installed Node. This is it. Just go to nodejs.org. So just click on the um, recommended for most users. Just click on this. So this is the latest version. So just click on this. Are you getting it now? So I've done that already uh, for my system. Just click on it and just follow the process. So and um, let's go now. To our, we, are, we need to open our terminal for us to be able before before we be able to use the npm. Let's open our command prompt. Rather, let me open our command prompt. Then what we have to do is just that we have to see the into our application, into our application folder. So what's the name of our application folder? Is the ARPS login form design. ARPS login form design. Let me type that here. CD ARPS. Then we have to do um login then you're gonna say form that's the name then we say the sign here yeah? then we press enter we are already inside our um application now our, that is our the folder for our application we're already inside this so before we can use that npm we have to create a package um dot json file did you understand it now so we have to create a package dot json file and how we're going to do that we just have to say npm in it npm in it, click enter you'll have to say npm in it then we'll click the enter so it's gonna ask some few questions from us and we answer those questions so you can see now it's asking us the package name that is what is the name that i want to give this package let's just say um student let's say student results student results processing so let's say student results processing okay 
so it's asking of just click enter again the description you can leave that empty so the entry points leave that em click enter the test command click enter just keep clicking enter now the author you can just add your name to the author let's say um steven so um click enter again so and it's asking is this okay yes that's all we want so as you can see now let's go into our text editor to confirm if this um package or json file has already been created now let's go down as you can see this is it here package the json file has been created did you see that now it has already been created now as you can see it's the student result processing the index just jail so the next thing we have to do is that now let's go back into our browser we just have to copy this let's copy this npm install here let me copy this here that will come to our command prompts here then we paste this don't forget to add dash dash save i've already installed this you do get it now so just click enter it's going to install inside this your folder i've already done that already did you understand it now so i've already done this already so let me clear this out i've done that already so let's go back into our text editor now so let me delete um this um let me rename this one I have to delete this first because I've already I've generated my own package of JSON first. So let me remove that too there. So that is just it now. Now the next thing we have to do is that let's go back to there will be a folder that will be generated inside. This is it, node mo node modules. Are you getting it now? So inside this mode mo mo uh, inside this node modules, rather, we can find this sweet alert. Did you see that now? So we can find this sweet alert. So what is the next thing we have to do? The next thing we have to do is just we have to link this sweet alert with our application. You do get it now. So we have to link this sweet alert with our application. How are we going to achieve that? Let's go back into our browser and see how are we going to do that. So the next thing we have to do is that according to the instruction here is, is that we have to add a um some a script inside our index.js file. Are you getting it now? So we have to add a script inside our index.js file. So what is that script we have to add? Now let's go back into our index.js um, file. This is it here. Yeah. Let me come up here. You see now, I've already done that here. Yeah. Just add this line of code here. Yeah. Did you see this line of code? Just add it inside your index.js uh, file. Did you get it now? In index.html file, just add this line of code. Did you understand this? So once you've been able to do that, then we are good to go to use Sweet Alert. Did you understand this? Hope I'm not um, complicating anything here. Did you understand it now? So you just have to add this line of code inside your index.html file. So that is just what you just have to do for you to be able to make use of it. As you can see, we said node modules. That is, we are trying to locate where this Sweet Alert is inside our um, folder here. Now let's go inside these node modules here. And let me show us where it is. Then let's go inside um, this this file. This is what we are trying to get. Sweet alert to dot all dot uh, m i n dot j s. Did you see that now? So that's what we are trying to locate. So since we've been able to do that, now we are now free to use sweet alert inside our projects. So the first thing we have to do, let me close this out. So the first thing we have to do is that let's um try to make. Um, is an alert a response for um, save button so let's go back into our browser and let's look at the example we want to use let's go inside these examples here so this is what we want to use you just have to copy this you just have to copy this line of code it's just very easy to use just copy this then move inside your uh, text editor don't forget we want to make it uh, for save button here then we'll come down to this place inside this dot then function then we paste it here do you understand it now? Then we have to copy this response we are getting in our console.log. Let's copy it and remove any fool can use a computer. Let's remove this here. So we override this. Let's paste it inside this place. So let me close the space here. And let me save now. Let me save. Now let's go back into our application here. Let's go back into our application now. Let me reload this for that effect uh, to take change. Let me reload this. So let me clear this out in our console now. So let's go into our create results. Don't forget, we only make a, 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 a sweet alert for uh, it's saying our internet is connected. Okay, let me uh, rectify that. But my internet is working now. Let me clear this error out. My internet is working now. So we want to see if this if that sweet alert is working for the save button. So let's say the name of the student I want to save is um, 
let's say macdo now let's input some numbers here let me input some numbers here and press enter so we want to save this now let me move down and click save so i've clicked save button now i'm waiting for the response as you can see it says save successfully is working now the sweet alert is working so we are not only getting our response alone from the console so we are now getting our response back now you see there is a pop-up saying our data has been saved it says save successfully so let's click ok and let's go and check if that has been saved truly so let's check if that have been saved truly let me come down here to see if that have been saved truly you see mcdo is there already definitely it is working so we have to make use of that also let me remove the um let me remove these um two colon here let me remove this here so what thing we have today again is that let me copy this also again we want to make use of this for our edit button also let me come down and we come here where we are getting the response so let me paste that here and let me copy this data re successfully retrieved now let me save that here uh, let me paste that here. let me save and i want to do something now i want to make a loader for that saved and um, button too so it's just very simple i just have to copy this let me copy this here i want to make a loader for the saved button also so we just have to come here and paste this down here like what we did in the last time for edit button so we want to make a loader for the set button then we'll come here again then let's paste this here so we're going to set this to none let's set this to none if, uh, that's why if you've not yet watched my previous video i've done this in my previous video so that's why i'm not really taking my time to explain what i'm doing here so let me save now and let's go and cross check if our alert is working and the sweet alert is working also for the edit button so let me come down here and let me reload once again to see if it's working so let me clear this out so let's uh the first thing i'm going to um, um check is that if that loader is working for the save button so let's try another student name again let's say um bill um clayton let's just say bill clayton is the name of our students so let, let's add and um, let's put something here uh a number here and let me press enter so let me go and click on the saved um button now to check if the loader is working as you can see the loader is working the loader is working now as you can see so and once we get our data out the loader should disappear once we've been able to get our data out the loader should disappear oh, what's wrong send mine we are getting an error here i think something is wrong with my internet something is wrong with my internet oh, um, my internet is working back let me clear this out and go back into my create results so we want to see if um the loader for the save button is working so let's try a, a name again let's say click it clicking at this time so let's input a, a data here let's say we put six here we put five we put five we put 55 we click the enter so we'll come down here and we'll click um the saved button now saved you see the loader is working now as you can see the loader is working so we are waiting for the response from uh, Firebase, I'm waiting for a response from Firebase. So as you can see, we get a response saved successfully. Did you see that now? We get a response saved successfully. So let's click the edit button now. Let's see if we are going to get a response from um, edit button too. So I, I've clicked the edit button. You can see the loader is working also for edit button. And we are waiting for a response also. I'm waiting for a response. So as you can see, we get a response. It said data successfully retrieved. Did you get that now? So we get a response that data successfully retrieved. So we don't need our console again. Did you get it now? Let me close the console. We don't need it again because we've been able to get our, the response back. We don't need the console. So the a sweet alert button is working for the saved button. It's also working for the edit button. So the last thing we have to do is that we want to make the sweet alert we want for um, the lead button and the lead all. But the kind of sweet alert we are going to be using is different from the one we are using um, for the save button and the edit button. So let me come down. We want to make use of the confirmation button now. We want to make use of the confirmation button. Let me see this one. Okay, this is what we want to use. So let me come here and copy this. Let me copy this. This is the code for it. Let me copy. Then we move into our text editor. Then we go inside our edit button function. So we move inside our edit button function. Then we paste that code here. Let me write a comment here. Sweet alert to 
function so let me paste that inside this place so this is the code so what we just have to do is just that we have to uh, remove this delete dots and uh, deleted dots remove we have to remove this um, copy this from this place we have to cut it off from this place then we come down inside this place then we paste it here did you understand that now so we have to remove that here and paste it inside this place that is the only thing we have to do so now let me remove student data is deleted let me copy this one and paste that inside this place oh we don't even really need it let me remove it let me remove the console here we don't need it again let me remove it here and let me save so let's check if this is working now let's go into our browser and move inside our application so let me see the name of the student we want to delete let me check the name of the student we want to delete okay john doe we have john doe inside our database so let me come here and let me reload let me reload this so let's move inside our delete student name and the name of the student we want to delete is john doe and uh, let me click the delete button now as you can see it's asking that are you sure did you get it now? it's asking the user that are you sure you don't want to delete if the user press cancel the action is going to stop let's check that out now so as you can see john doe is still inside our database as you can see that now john doe is still inside our database because we've not yet confirmed the delete for john doe so let me go back there and let's go and confirm this now delete and let's say yes i want to delete you get a response deleted your file has been deleted let me press ok and let's go back into our database and let's see if john doe has been deleted let's wait for it as you can see john doe has been deleted from our database just because we click yes so this is working definitely the street alert is working so in case if the user just made a mistake and press the delete button ha, you, I, I, immediately it's gonna press the cancel so is that delete button is not gonna work you do understand it now so let's make that for this delete all button so let's go back into our text editor now the same thing we just have to do here let me copy this from here once again let me copy this from here so let me move down to this place so let me move that into delete all function now just below this place we just have to paste this code here did you see that now so what we just have to do is just that um let's let me remove this delete from here and let me remove this console from here because we already have it inside this place so let me save and let's go back into our browser and to see if that is working so let me reload this let me reload now so once that is done so let's see as you can see we still have some data in our database now let's go back into delete student name let me click on delete let me click on delete okay you see now it's asking I click on delete all it's asking are you sure that it is asking the user that are you sure you don't want to go on with this if the user press cancel and let's go back into this place our data is still intact because we click cancel our data is still intact so let's go back to this place and let me click on delete all once again and let me confirm yes i want to delete it he said deleted your file has been deleted let me click ok let's go back into our database now so as you can see we can no longer find any data in our database so hope you really understand it now so we've been able to successfully implement um, the suite alert inside our um, projects did you understand it now so I, I hope you really understand what we've just done today i hope you really really understand it hope it's not really complicated it's just very 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 simple so if you are having any questions you really want to ask me just kindly um drop your question in the comment box believe me i'm going to answer i'm going to attend to every question and if you really wish to send out uh, your question to me personally i'm going to drop my email address so that you're able to forward your question to me so the next thing we're going to be doing in my next tutorial is that we want to have some validations here so that if, if the user don't input anything and they click the delete button, we, we have, we have, we, um, there is going to be a validation here that is going to be telling the user that this place can't be empty. Do you understand it now? We're going to be using JavaScript to do that form validation. The same thing to this place too. If the user don't uh, enter the student name, the save button uh, is going to, um, once the user press the save button, um, we are going to tell the user that, see, you have to input a student name here. Did you understand it now? So that is what we're going to do in my next um, video. We're going to make sure uh, we're going to be doing form validation using JavaScript. That's what I'm going to be doing in my next video. So I really want to appreciate you for taking your time to watch this, this tutorial. And hope you really understand what we've been able to do today. If you have any questions, don't, as I've said earlier, uh, you are feel free to ask me your questions. So see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.